This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high-quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens, which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the child stars who were way too young for their roles. We all know that TV shows and movies tend to cast people way out of the age range of the characters. But most of the time, especially when it comes to kids and teenagers, the actors are much older than the characters they play. Audiences willingly suspend their belief when they dive into the fictional universe of film and television, but the reality behind the actors playing those roles can be shocking. And now, here are the child stars who were way too young for their roles. Let's begin with number 10, Al Fanning in The Beguiled. Whether or not you enjoyed The Beguiled, you have to admit that it was definitely eccentric. The film focuses on Corporal John McPurmy, an injured Union soldier, played by Colin Farrell, who was on the run during the Civil War. He seeks refuge at an all-female boarding school in Virginia. While hiding at the school, the tension between the handsome soldier and the many women leads to chaos and jealousy. Al Fanning, who is 19 years old, plays one of the women who lives in the boarding school. While her character Alicia is the same age, one scene in particular proves that they should have cast someone who was older. Before we move on to the next child star, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now. If you don't, you will not get to know who are these young actors. Number 9. Daphne Keen in Logan At only 12 years old, Daphne Keen is a complete and utter legend beyond her years. The feisty, pin-sized actress is best known for her breakout role as Laura in this past six years X-Men universe flick, Logan. Although she is a young child who doesn't speak until the third act, Laura possesses almost identical powers to Wolverine, including his disregard for the rules. In the comics, Laura is supposed to be in her late 20s. Regardless, the savage violence that takes place in the film would be intense for anyone. The film is insanely violent and extremely bloody. While she is definitely way too young for the role, Keen absolutely nailed it. The pre-adolescent fighter was in a face by the brutality around her, especially since she's the one sinking her claws into the baddies most of the time. Number 8. Drew Barrymore in Poison Ivy At age 17, Drew Barrymore played the role of Ivy in Poison Ivy. The thriller, which did absolutely awful in the box office, is about Ivy, a seductive teen who befriends a young introvert, Sylvie, played by Sarah Gilbert. Fascinated by her wealthy family, Ivy gets closer to Sylvie, specifically to meet her father. She successfully seduces Sylvie's father, Daryl, and then plots to kill Sylvie's mother. The reason that Barrymore is way too young for the role is common sense. Her fascination and infatuation with Daryl is wildly inappropriate. She's 17 and he's her friend's father. Number 7. Dakota Fanning in The Runaways at the age of 23, Dakota Fanning has played many mature roles that were beyond her years. She might have a cherubic face and an air of innocence about her, but many of Fanning's performances aren't innocent in the slightest. A good example of this can be found in the 2010 film The Runaways. The biopic, which tells the true story of the band of the same name, follows Fanning as aspiring rock star Sherry Curry, opposite Kristen Stewart as Joan Jett. The rebellious women formed the female band that would change rock and roll forever. Although Sherry Curry was a rebellious teenager, Fanning was only 16 while playing the character. During this portrayal, Fanning's character experimented with drugs, alcohol, and other risque activity. Although she pulled it off, this was definitely not appropriate for an actress at the age of 16. Number 6. Chloe Grace Moretz in Kick-Ass there is no denying that Chloe Grace Moretz has amazing acting talent, and her breakout role was no exception. At age 13, Moretz starred in the comic book flick Kick Ass, in which she plays Hit Girl. The 2010 film, which concentrates in a group of unlikely vigilantes fighting crime, was definitely not your average superhero movie. 
In her first big role, Murat's as Hit Girl was feisty, violent, and most of all, cursed like a sailor. Hit Girl became the topic of controversy in that she was way too young to be using the foul language. Although she was obviously acting, the extreme violence included dismemberment and witnessing her father getting burnt alive. When added with the excessive use of profane language, Murat's was without a doubt too young for this role. Number 5. Sally Field in Forrest Gump Forrest Gump loves his mama, we know this to be true. Actress Sally Field may have played the mother of Tom Hanks Forrest Gump in the 1994 flick, but it didn't make much sense. Sally Field is only 10 years older than Hanks, making it impossible for her to be his mother. The movie definitely did the best it could, with Field's hair and makeup, but it's still incredibly obvious that Fields wasn't Hank's mother. However, it goes without saying that the film is still one of the greatest movies ever made. Number 4. Alicia Silverstone in The Crush Silverstone was 18 when cast in this film. While she was on the older end of some of the people on this list, there were scenes where the character had to remove her clothes, and she also had a crush on a much older man. Number 3. Natalie Portman in Leon the Professional Lay in the Professional marks Natalie Portman's film debut. The actor was just 11 years old when she was cast as the Mathilda, the spunky hitman in training of Luke Basson's 1994 film. The role required a lot of maturity on Portman's part. Many scenes involved smoking, and the more violent scenes were emotionally intense for the young thespian. Portman gives an incredible performance despite her inexperience, but the most controversial aspects of the film are the repeated hints at the romantic relationship shared by Mathilda and the adult hitman who takes her under his wing, Leon. In the international cut, there is a scene where Mathilda and Leon go to a restaurant and Mathilda gets drunk. While at the table, Mathilda drunkenly tries to kiss Leon repeatedly. The scene was cut for the American release after some screen tests as the audiences found it too sexually charged and borderline pedophilic. Number 2. Macaulay Culkin Since there have been numerous roles of evil children in thriller and horror films, perhaps none can be compared to the evil of the role played by Macaulay Culkin in the film The Good Son, 1993. There's no such superpowered element explained in his fondness for murder, he's just raw bad. When the happy-go-lucky Mark, played by Elijah Wood, visits his extended family during the winter holidays, things became decidedly dark after he's acquainted with his weird cousin Henry, Culkin. It becomes clearly evident that Henry is strongly troubled, and he then starts to roll out his psychotic tendencies, causing chaos, and later attempts to kill his little sister, his cousin Mark, and even his own mother. And finally, we have number one. Linda Blair in The Exorcist In the famous spider walk scene, grabbing her mother's face and jamming it into her crotch, twisting her head around, and abusing herself with a crucifix. No matter the role, there are all very memorable performances from some of the child stars in the world. Here's hoping that the real actresses behind the roles weren't too traumatized by the events their characters go through. Have you ever been in awe while watching a child actor on your screen? Did we miss any actors who were miscast for their age? Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anjali and Anjali tokens, check out the links in the description.